Oh, right. Oh, wait. Why can I hear myself? That doesn't make any sense. Where? Oh. That was the issue. Apparently, I was in something else. I don't know why. <laughs> Another source had, had my voice in going into it. And uh, I still need to fix this. Being stupid. Go down, thank you. Wow. Oh, come on. I think I'm glad about is that this this particular thing is about to come to an end. I'm also not glad about that. <laughs> I'm glad this particular season that I'm going through is coming to an end. It's the next one. I mean, it's it's that Star Trek Online itself. I'm getting close to the last few episodes that I've released so far. That it won't have content for a while. <laughs> At least not one that'll satisfy a long enough stream. <laughs> Oof. But, uh... I have some other games lined up, a couple others, and I'll I'll be checking. I have a bunch on Epic. I'll be checking on those too to see what I have. I'm thinking of keeping the theme on Sundays as sci-fi, so I'll have like a sci-fi Sunday. Um, in different games under that genre. Evening, Tracy. Oh, I'm like, is it loaded? Yeah, it's done. Okay, cool. Shoot, that's right. I wanted to show off something before I started the stream. Or, like, started the game, that is. Hold on. Minimize that.
No Twitch. I see everything fine, though. Alrighty, hold on a minute. Uh, I've got something else here. If I can find it. That's not it. Somewhere down here. Um. That's not it. Wait, where did I put it? Oh, here it is. What the heck? I thought I fixed... Why? Why? Why you gotta be like that? You stupid... Okay, here we go. Goodness. I thought I sized that correctly, and then it resizes itself? What's going on here? Anyways, this is Zydax PCs. This is the uh, website I'm affiliated with. I have that... My account right there. I could just go there and check. But this is where you would go. You can get um, products. They got desktops, laptops, workstations, recertified PCs, ready to roll, and they have merch. All you do is go here and uh, find whatever you want. And anything you buy, I get a cut. If you use my link, which is under the command, um, you can get it when you type the command exclamation PC. Yeah, look at that. They're ready to help you, too. <laughs> Just like that. They're ready to help. I don't, I don't need the help right now. I'm just showing it off. But, yeah. You got financing options. Uh, yeah, PC's ready to ship. You can customize your own computers. And there's something else about them. Oh, yeah, they're partner with all these companies. Now this is this is something I'm affiliate I have affiliate link for. This is Zydax PCs. I have an affiliate link. You type in exclamation PC. You get the link. And if you ever buy something from Zydax using that link, I get a cut. And they have all these different things like desktops. You can check. Um, my computer's being a little slow about it. I might have to look into getting Opera GX because uh, it's a little less resource intensive. <laughs> it's a little bit faster too. Look at that. This really budget one. Oof. Must be their mobile app. They, they, they need a fix. <laughs> they need to work on that. Come on, Twitch, keep up. You change something on your website and you break something on your app. Got laptops too. Shane, thanks, but I don't need help right now. I've been meaning to do this for a f uh, few streams already. I'm like, I want to show this off on stream so I can show it off. And then, uh, you know, a week later it goes on to YouTube. So anyone who watches it there can see that uh, I have an affiliate link. And I'll even put that link in the description of the YouTube video just so you don't have to wait to come to the stream live and type in <laughs> the the command. And eh, certified pre owned. <laughs> like they do with cars, they call them certified pre owned. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, so you could get things with like high end specs, but for like way cheaper than you may, then then you'd have to get it brand new. 
Uh, thank you. These PCs are certified pre-owned that they are ready to ship and desktops still come with our signature lifetime parts and labor warranty. Has anything caught your eye? No, 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 no. I'm good. I'm good, Sean. Thank you. <laughs> Just showing it off. But yeah. All you have to do is type an exclamation PC or hit the link in the description of the YouTube video and uh, if you like anything you see here, you can uh, you can just get that and uh, it'll help me out, help this channel grow. Alrighty, so now we can get back to the game. Where's uh, that? Okay, there we go. Kill that. And open this. Right. Oh boy. Today's sponsor is Zydak PC. I don't know if I could technically call them a sponsor. If what I have is an affiliate link and not a, a sponsorship. Sponsorship I feel like is a bit different from just having an affiliate link. Oh, hey, Fruz. <sighs> uh. Dude, you won't believe who uh, raided me the other day. I don't know if you heard of them, though. I know I found one of his videos on YouTube a while back when I was searching things. I was Googling something. Found one of his videos. Try Xander. Ever heard of him? He's he plays Star Trek or he streams Star Trek Online and Dragon Ball Z. But he uh mostly does YouTube videos about Star Trek Online. That 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 that, that raid had twenty four twenty four new viewers and six new followers. <laughs> That was incredible. Ah, so you know him. So you know, you do know him. Yeah, that was crazy. I got raided by him <laughs> last week. Yeah, right. We start this as a ground mission, apparently. Alt? I'm afraid I haven't heard anyone who just goes by Alt before. Oh, wow. I saw the raid and I had recognized the name already. I was like... Hold up. <laughs> I've seen that name somewhere before. <laughs> Alt Lex... Yeah, I don't... I haven't... I haven't heard of that one. Shoot, you know what? I forgot there was something else I meant to mention. Uh, I'll, I'll make it a, a thing between episodes, though. What I am about to tell you is unusual. I ask that you hear me out before making any sort of judgment. All right. Tenavik believes that the soul of Laurel was not restored to her clone because it is trapped within the depths of Grethor. Based on my own research, I am inclined to agree with him. Why would she be bound to Grethor, rather than Stovacor? We aren't sure. What I do know 
Is Lady Jula wants to take a spiritual journey to Grethor to liberate the soul of Lorel. Would that even be possible? Tenavik has assured us that such a journey is possible. And is willing to facilitate the process. While some of us have our doubts, Jula is convinced she must do this. And so, here we are. Is this another thing she's going to do alone? If necessary, yes. She requests that you join her on this journey, however. You and General Martok. And Martok has agreed to this? I have. I would like to see if such a thing can be done. If it is possible, Jaula will need all the help she can get in a place filled with the worst pieces of Bakhtag ever to call themselves Klingons. Speaking of Jaula, she wanted a word with you once you arrived. All right, I'll talk to her. Just does in-game giveaways. How does he even get the stuff to do the giveaways with in the first place? He's got to be loaded if he can do stuff like that. Or, you know, grind like crazy. Jula? You have arrived. Good. We have a challenging journey ahead of us. Tanave can explain more about it to you. Alright, so what's the deal here? It will be a challenge. One that will test your body, mind, and soul. Even the strongest of warriors can fall on such a journey. It is... not a path to be traveled lightly. <laughs> well, I'm ready if you are. The future of the Empire is at stake! Lorel can guide us to victory over Jepak. For that... I will do what must be done, even if I have to destroy Fekla himself! Well, let's start. To enter Grethor, you'll need to be on the precipice of death. The fumes of this incense will allow you to enter a death-like comatose state. That is when your journey will begin. Adipa and I will monitor your bodies from here. Oh, well, uh, alright. Let's go. Huh. That's not unfamiliar to me. I have, you know, done something similar before. In another game. Alright, let's do this, guys. <laughs> Just put on my spacesuit? Like, what? <laughs> my whole team came with me, too. This is a curious area. Idea where we're supposed to go? This does not seem like Grethor. This is not Grethor. This is Koth. The Void. Why are we here? Perhaps we are here because our fates are not yet decided. But the ritual... It... Wait! Something approaches from the mists. What brings you to a place where neither honor nor dishonor reigns? I do not know you. Of course not. You, I know from tales of the past. Jaula, sister of Tukuvma, 
the matriarch of House Mokai. But you, General Matak, I will never forget you. Why are you here? I must admit, I am surprised to see you here, Martok. Did your friends in the Federation finally convince you to do something less than honorable before you died? Was it Sisko? Or was it your good friend Worf, the treacherous son of Moog? Who are you, Pratak? And why are you... Wait. Those eyes. I have seen such eyes before. Stop doing that, you stupid Vroid. I did not bring my arm up, it is down. Yes, you have. For this is Galron, son of Morel, son of Akar. And to answer your question, I am not dead yet, Galron. My allies and I are merely passing through. Passing through, are you? There are but two destinations you can reach from Koth. And I'll wager you're not traveling to Stovokol. You mentioned my ancestor, Akar. He served House Mokai during the war with the Federation. Does your little journey have something to do with him? It does not. Though I suspect his treachery is the reason you are here now, Galron. After all, the dishonor of the father also dishonors his sons and their sons for three generations. Well, that's unfortunate. You are many things, Martok, but a liar is not one of them. If I had any doubt of that, I would kill you where you stand for insulting the honor of my grandfather. So, the car's dishonor has kept me trapped in this wretched place. Not the fate I had expected. No, there may be worse fates. No, no. I don't know why it has me saying that. That is dumb. This, this honestly is worse to Klingons than, than even Grethor. Indeed. Grethor, our destination. You said it could be reached from here. Do you know the way? Do you know the way? <laughs> I do. I can guide you there if you wish it. Wait. The Galron I knew would not aid anyone if it did not benefit him in some way. What scheme are you hiding behind this sudden act of benevolence? <laughs> Look around you, Mata. There is little to do in this place but brood and despair. I'm taking you there for my amusement. And perhaps there may be a way out of this place. If there is, I would find it. Even if I have to march at your side to do so. <laughs> Does that satisfy you? Or shall we stand here for eternity and ponder my motivations? Well, looks like we don't have much of a choice. Let's... This is the barge of the dead, laden with souls bound for Grethor. You'll want to announce yourself to Kotar. It is unwise to vex the ferryman. All right, let's go let him know we're here. He's probably gonna wonder why non-Klingons are here. The legends of the Ferryman are true. You are Kortar, the first Klingon, slayer of gods. I am, and you are Ja'ula, kinswoman of Takuvma, matriarch of your house. It is not your time. You should not be here. Explain yourself. My allies and I seek the soul of another, one who should be in Stovakor, but now dwells in Grethor. It is not your time. Maybe someone on else on board has seen her. Lorel, 
I know no Lorel, but I know you, Jaula. You left me to die in a Starfleet prison. Oh, you rescued your pet, a car, but not a lonely Beck trapped in his cell. And during your raid, an explosion exposed my cell to the cold void of space. And so I died, dishonored. Be gone! I have nothing more to say to you. That was no way for a warrior to die. It is a fate I narrowly avoided several times myself. Come, let us see what the others know. All right, anyone else? Oh, someone over there, apparently. Lorel, here? Kiyah! I may be a coward, but you are an idiot. Everyone knows that Lorel is in Stovacor. As for you, you will have an eternity in Grethor to find wisdom, fool. But the lessons that await you will not be pleasant. Mind your tongue, or I will throw you overboard and feed you to the Coast Kari. Lady Jaula, this is getting us nowhere. Perhaps a more direct approach is in order. Out of respect for the ferryman, I will refrain from such measures until they are necessary. Come, let us see if one of the others has something besides rage or the bluster of a coward to offer us. Apparently this person does. Lady Jaula and General Martok, the architects of my downfall. My house swore allegiance to you. But I saw your crusade against Jempuk for the folly it was. I refused your call to arms at Gorath. And for that, my first officer killed me and took my place as captain. I shall enjoy watching the two of you suffer for the rest of time. You dishonored your house and your crew. You forgot what it meant to be Klingon, Captain. And now you go to pay the price for that. Step away from me now, or your suffering will begin before you walk through the gates of Grethor. Wait your oh. turn. I shall have my vengeance before all others. Oh, what does this guy want? I do not know who sent you here, Julia, and I do not care. My wish for vengeance has been granted. And I will stain the deck of this barge with your blood! Alright, everyone. Fight! Ready to fight! Oh, oh, ow. Okay, fine. It's not just him. It's everyone. Ow! The heck? Enough! You shall earn no salvation through combat here. Satisfied? Bah! The ferryman has spared you. For now. Do not think you will rest easy once we reach Grethor. I will find you. And I will have my revenge. This, I swear. Bold words. But I think you'll find that Feklar has plans for you. As he does for all traitors. We're done here. Leave this wretch to his fate. The glory of combat, brief as it was, it felt good to engage in battle once more, to be Klingon. So, there is still something within you that knows what it means to be a warrior. You were the Gauron of old, before the Chancellorship changed you, as it did me, as it did Jempak. And perhaps, Laurel. Interesting. You became Chancellor after I fell in battle? 
Tell me you killed Worf to do so. Oh, that would have been glorious! I did not. Worf still lives and serves the Empire to this day. I hope you can handle such a disappointment, Galron. Uh, can you guys catch up later? We have something to do here. Let us ask the ferryman how much longer it will be until we get to Grethor. Um, what the heck? Actually, let's wait this 20 seconds before continuing this story. Okay, I can holster, but those two won't. Here we go. Fight with purpose, Jaula. Honor to you and your house. I think we shall not meet again, and that gladdens my heart. It will be some time before we arrive at Grethor. Tell me of the soul you seek. I would know your story, so I can sing it to the dishonored, to remind them of who they were, of who they could still become. I seek Lorel. She was once called Mother, a great warrior and leader of the Empire. I would liberate her soul. I strive to remove a tyrant from the Emperor's throne, and her counsel will help me to do so. This is why I journey to the halls of Grethor, Ferryman. For the Empire, no risk is too great. I have seen her. Once, she stood not far from where you stand now. She did not speak. She did not have to. But I saw in her the same pain that I carry in my heart. You can find her in Grethor if the denizens do not end you first. But finding her and liberating her from that wretched place are two different battles. May you find success in both. If she did come here, why? That is not my tale to tell. Find Lorel, make her story and yours as one, and fight with all your conviction. Then, and only then, May you find a way out of Grethor, for yourself and for the realm. Oh, well, this doesn't change much. So there is a way out of Grethor. Tell me, ferryman, how can I find my way in? The gates are locked to me. My path out of Koth has been blocked by the dishonor of my ancestor. But if I can enter Grethor, I can find the liberation that Jaula and her allies seek for Lorel. Speak! Tell me what I wish to know! I will tell you only this. Your story has not ended, Gauron, son of Marel. The scales can be shifted yet, for good or for ill. Now, leave me to my duty. I will call upon you when we draw near to Grethor. Until then, know your place. Do not forget that I am master of this vessel. It is unwise to test my authority here. I hear you. We have arrived. I will wait for you and your allies here, Jaula. Should you succeed, return to me here, and I will ensure your song does not end in Grethor. You honor us, Kortar, first of the Klingons. We will not keep you waiting long. Right. So it does. Prepare for battle. Our greatest challenge awaits. You will find no one to block your entrance at the gates of Grethor, warriors. Getting out, that will be the challenge. Gauron, a pity you cannot join us. I suspect you would find more entertainment past those gates, in the depths of Grethor itself. 
<laughs> I do not doubt that. Soon Fekla will know the frustration of dealing with a Klingon too stubborn to die. Glory to you and your house. Fight with honor, and if necessary, die well. Kapla! The time has come! Go now, warriors! Your destiny lies beyond those gates. All right, see you later. We shall see. The halls of Grethor have crushed many a soul. I hope yours do not join their ranks. As for you, Kauron, I would have words with you before we depart. Oh, here we go. Um... How do we get there? Oh, over here. Look at these pathetic wretches. Reporting for damnation like it were duty. <laughs> there are the gates. Let us see if entering Grethor is as easy as Kortar said. This is going to be like searching for a cloaked ship in the Briar Patch. We do not seek a mundane soul, General. Few Klingons do not know of Lorel. I do not think a warrior of her caliber would go unnoticed, especially in a place like this. Come, let us speak to others here. It should not take long to find Lorel. Let's start with that soul over there staring at us. More newcomers. This place, well, it stinks. It's loud and teeming with demons. That said, oh, at least it's warm, unlike Rura Penthe, where I froze to death in a cell. I suppose that is better than filling the belly of a jackal mastiff. We are looking for Lorel. Have you seen her? Huh, can't say I have. Sorry. Well, don't make that face at me. See that man atop the stairs? The one surrounded by she-demons? He's called Kutip. Seems to be a player in here. You might ask him about Lorel. Well, we'll see then. Hello? It's easy! You she-demons want souls to devour! Help with that. No, not my soul, you insufferable harpy! <clears throat> Behold, newcomers have arrived, my ladies. Come forth, travelers! Let us get to know one another. Listen closely, Patak. We seek Lorel. Have you seen her? Speak now, before I feed you to your charming friends. You wouldn't! Wait, you would. I can see it in your eyes. I have not seen this, Lorel. Uh, Vort, uh, you need to talk to Vort. If there's anyone who knows about this, it's her! Please don't feed me to the she demons! You've been helpful, good luck. Vort must be further in. Let us head through these doors and look for them. Oh wait, it's not over here? Oh. I'll be damned. Quite literally. <laughs> that, that, excuse me? Can't go that way. Go back around. Well, that was weird. Why was it acting like I could get through it? Oh. 
Oh, this one opened? Really? Kutep sent you? Impressive. I sent my she-demons down to eat him. The silver-tongued bastard must have talked his way out of their bellies. Never mind that. Why are you bothering me, exactly? I'm looking for, for a Klingon named Laurel. Have you seen this one? Someone who looks a lot like Laurel has been seen around. Quiet type. Keeps to herself. That's not an easy thing to do around here. Someone like her could pull it off, I suppose. Indeed. Where can we find her? Ask Lothar. I run my little corner of things, and that's all. She's elsewhere, and for that, you need to talk to Lothar. Unless you want to take it up with Feklar, of course. Ha! Find this other person, then. We're just getting bounced around from one person to another. Oh, here's the person. Oh, wait a minute. He's a... He's an original series Klingon. Ah, the newcomers with so many questions have made their way to me at last. Allow me to welcome you to the Hall of Treachery. A tragic name, really. We aren't all bad here. Mm, sure. Newcomers are quite popular, you know. You've been watched since you set foot past the gates. Can you blame us? We enjoy such amusements whenever we can in Gretel. But enough of that. You have questions, yes? Ask away. If you've been watching us, you know why we're here. Laurel, does she dwell within your domain or not? Calm yourself, General. Yes, I know who you are. The great and terrible Martok, butcher of Zenkath III, the one I doom, and so forth. Your reputation precedes you. All of you. One I doom? Enough. You still haven't answered his question, Lothar. Tell us where we can find Lorel, and you'll never see us again. Well, this is embarrassing. But I'm afraid I lost Lorel in a game of poker. Do you know it? Human game. Quite popular in here. <laughs> yes, I, I lost the rel to Mordok. If you're interested in her, you'll have to deal with him. I hope you're good at cards. Now, well, let's hope we're getting closer. He's over here. Another? Original series going on? What? Laurel? I don't know her. There must be some sort of mistake. This doesn't seem like a master gambler to me. Gambler? No, no. This is Lothar's work. I'm sorry. I mean, you've been played. We've all been played. And now, now we're gonna suffer for it. Sorry. Oh, I told great. you on the barge that vengeance would be mine. What I meant was vengeance. Would be ours. You're the uh. one out, Martok. Try to die well, Jaula. I was wondering when they'd make their move. Now I know. I count five of them. Have they added another uh. to their ranks? I think the fifth arrival is on our side. Can I? Stop. Stop, 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 stop. Ow. Ah. They knocked me down. Ow. Killing you here is almost poetic, traitor. Out. So we are. I'm right here. Oh, wait. Oh, Tarsi. 
Goody. Um, let me activate my treble buff. Jerk. Jeez, why are you so OP? Two down, two to go. Your brethren are all gone, traitor. Prepare to meet your end! Was that a beam out? How do you do that? I hear you have been looking for Lorel, and now you have found her. We need to talk. Jaula, sister of Tukuvma, I know your story well. How you rose to power in House Mokai, your conflict with your brother and your bold crusade against the Federation during the war. Even after my death, I heard tales of your exploits. You have made and ended a great many enemies. Many of them now dwell within these halls. I know why these souls are here. What I do not know is why you are here. It is not your time. If you have heard of my exploits, you know of my clash with the tyrant, Jemtok. Once he held the office you brought honor to, but it was not enough to sate his lust for power. Now, he calls himself Emperor, and has shattered the great work of my brother. The empire you led with honor is now divided, on the verge of collapse. I am here because I want to restore you to the realm of the living. To help me save it. Your brother often spoke of your boldness. I suspect he might have understated it somewhat. What you seek is not impossible, but I question the need for such a thing. Why seek to restore me from the dead when another former Chancellor still breathes? Of what use am I when General Martok, a warrior fit to wield the sword of Kalish, stands at your side. It appears you've heard of my exploits as well, Chancellor. I am honored. As you should be, General. You have served the Empire with honor. And yet, you are reluctant to reclaim the office you once held. Why else would you be here now? I do not blame you. I know too well of the great burden that office brings and the terrible sacrifices it often demands. Word travels fast here. Your enemies will be on the move. If you do not return to the realm of the living soon, they will strike. Even the greatest warriors can die here. You should leave while you are still able to do so. Join us. Together, we can liberate you from this place and restore you to life as Kalis once was. No. I cannot leave this place. It is a matter of honor. Once, I dwelled in Stovokor among the honored dead. But Vok, 
my greatest love was denied entry. He was denied an honorable death, and thus his soul was sent to Grethor. I could not bear that, and so I came here and bargained with Feklar for his release. In exchange for Volk's freedom, I offered to take his place. As you can see, my offer was accepted. This is why I cannot leave. To do so would dishonor the agreement and condemn us both to eternal suffering in Gretor. You have traveled here in vain, Ja'ula. I cannot help you. No, I saw it. The crystal showed me the future, and you are a part of it. If you could strike a bargain with the master of Grethor, so can I. I will find Feklar and secure your freedom, or die trying. I have seen such determination before, in the eyes of your honored brother. So be it. I will take you to Feklar. There we shall see how strong your resolve truly is. Wow, Jaila, that uh, Jula, a uh, deal with the with Feckler himself. Good luck. The stairs beyond those doors lead to Feckler's hall. Feckler, this ought to be interesting. The guards do not seem to be opposed to our passage. They aren't here to keep us away from Feklar. They're here to keep us from escaping him. Interesting. Hey, Bohi. <laughs> you come here with hope in your heart. Abandon it. There is no place for hope. Here, here, there is only pain. Yeah, we'll see about that. Lady Jaula of House Mokai, I must offer my gratitude to you. Many fresh souls have arrived here of late, thanks to you and your imperial nemesis. Because of this, I will hear what you have come so far to say. Come forth, speak. What would you ask of the Lord of Grethor? Lord Fekla. I come before you to bargain for the soul of Lorel. I would liberate her from these halls. Ha <laughs> ha ha! Such impudence! You think you are worthy of commerce with me? My good lady, I am inclined to disagree. Violently. Oh, wonderful. The ferryman killed many a god by himself. Together! We should be able to finish off Feklar. Ah! Ah! Be strangled. Watch out! He's calling in tormented souls to fight us as well! Ah, jeez! Oh, 
jeez. Oh, really? There we go. What? No. No. There we go. Come on now. Got him. You have provided me with great sport. I shall hear your bargain. What do you offer in trade for the soul of the realm? Lord Fekla, I wish to offer my Wait! Hold your tongue, Jahula! Fekla! If it's the soul of a Chancellor you want, take mine instead. Intriguing. I accept, son of the realm. You shall take the realm's place here. Are you mad, Gauron? Better to spend eternity with Klingons than to be alone in the void, even in a place like this. Lord Fekla, this should not be Gauron's fate. I will deliver the soul that belongs here. His treacherous ancestor, Akar. Unacceptable! Gregor is filled with souls such as Akar's. You have to sweeten the deal. Very well. I shall deliver the souls of Akar and Jempak. That is more like it. I accept your generous offer. Deliver those souls to me, and Gowron shall be free as well. And now, I give you leave to go. Be gone. Get all these items. Which one's even worth picking up? It's, it's, well, that's the green one. Everything else is common. Common loot. They drop common loot. You are able to leave if you can, but you won't be able to leave. Ah, wonderful. Whoever brings the world back to me. Will be allowed to take a place in Stone Core. I've dealt with Ferengi that were less treacherous than Fekla. Let me go. Oh jeez. There's a lot more ahead of us. Be ready. Every soul in Grethor stands between us and the gates. Let them come. If they want to die again, I'm happy to oblige them. Be mindful of their numbers and their treachery. Oh! What happened? Wait, what? 
hell? I'm a bit confused. Oh, thank you. That that was weird. gonna take a while. Ah! 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 No! Get off me! Ow! Oh jeez. Ah! Jeez Louise! What the heck? Let me go! Where's my party? Eh! Eh! No! No! You turd. Um, can't go that way. Right, that other door didn't open. Jeez. No. Why are they ganging up on me? What's going on? Where's all my friends? Yeah! Let me go! Come on! And no one to respawn me. Ah, oh, wonderful. Come on, everyone. Ah!
What? It took. I wiped out my party. What the heck? Goodness gracious. Quickly, open the front gates. Kortar is waiting for us on the barge. That's not the only thing waiting for us on the other side. Get ready to fight! There's the box. Hurry! Oh, of course, they have fire breathing targs. Kurtar, prepare to weigh anchor. We are leaving in a hurry. Ow. Alright, 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 stop! Oh my goodness. And they all come after me all at once. Oh. Ugh. Help. Come on. Dang it. <sighs> this is so annoying. What the? Ah. Uh, okay, we good now? And get the and get the ship out of here. Looks like an Endorian didn't take the Klingon afterlife very well. Welcome back to the world of the living, and not a moment too soon. A few minutes ago, sensors detected energy signatures over Boreth. Fekiri portals. They're sending vessels through as we speak. Hmm. Did they come through for Laurel? Has her soul been liberated? Was your mission a success? Not as far as I know. She was right beside us. Fighting the whole way. Did she make it to the barge? 
She did. I made sure of it. Check her vitals. Give me a medical update now! Her life signs are strong. Reading brain activity? Yes! You did it! Laurel has returned safe and sound. Kapla! Yeah, but we still have the Fakiri to deal with. Right. Three portals in total. Fakiri vessels are emerging from them as we speak. They're holding position for now, but we are heavily outnumbered. What exactly are they trying to do? Laurel's presence may be a coincidence. Since their return to our space, the Fakiri have made numerous assaults on Bareth. Until now, those attacks were repelled by the KDF. But now? And now, with the Empire in a state of disarray, the defense presence here is minimal. The Fakiri saw weakness, and they seized the initiative. This time, they may succeed where they have failed so many times before. Well, let's go defend Bora. Indeed. If the Fakiri want to fight, they came to the right place. I will fight to the end if I must, for today is a good day to die. Well said, Martok. I stand ready for battle as well. It will be an honor to defend this sacred place at your side. You risked all to restore me to life. Honor demands that I fight alongside you. And I do so gladly. So be it. We will make our stand here. Let it be known that we never forgot what it means to be Klingon. I will need to go with one of you, however. After the loss of the Lucara, I have no vessel to command in battle. I believe I can be of assistance there, Lady Ja'ula. The monks of Boreth are not entirely without resources after all. Oh, really? Yes, but we will need some time to prepare. Do what you can to hold the line until then. Lady Jaula, mother, please come with me. All right, everyone else, let's get back to our ships. And what the heck. Fekiri portal count remains at three. Reading multiple enemy vessels in the system, we're outnumbered at least three to one. Oh, anyone got any recommendations then? Our first priority should be closing those portals. Until they're gone, our Fakiri problem could continue to grow. So what can you tell me about the portals? I'm reading heavy fluctuations in their graviton fields. At the moment, they appear to be unstable, but they could stabilize over time. Until then, it is a weakness we can exploit. Yeah? 
weapons fire, especially torpedoes, will eventually destabilize a portal's integrity to the point of collapse. Firing a heavy barrage at each portal should do the trick nicely. All right. Just we need to punch portals. through the ships guarding the portals before reinforcements arrive. It won't take much to collapse the portals. Take them out as soon as you can. Um, the heck? Why am I not turning? Turn. It's collapsed! There's more to be done. Close the others quickly.
to grapple with you, demons! Don't open the blood wine yet. More Fakiri vessels are coming in from the last portal. I absolutely love squishing these squishy ships. Squish, squish. That one was extra squishy. More squishy ships. opening much larger than the others so they're not finished with us yet eh make ready for battle jola if you're going to do something now's the time 
The Fakiri Dreadnought is an impressive beast. I will enjoy killing it. Ours. Death to the Zekiri! Send them screaming back to battle! Another inbound KGF vessel. We can win this! Here is for Terry Fletcher and destroy it! Kabla! Glorious battle, my lady. The Fakiri will think twice before launching an attack here anytime soon. 
Even so, things got too close for my liking. For a time, it seemed like there were more Fakiri in space than stars. Thankfully, the monks had that well-preserved surprise up their sleeves. Just where did you find that relic, Tanavik? We have kept it here since my mother's time. Once it served as her flagship, we preserved it as a reminder of a Klingon golden age. We knew one day it would be needed again, and it seems that time has come at last. Oh, it should serve the Empire well. Indeed. Though I yearn to command the Katinga once more, it has been far too long since I have done so. Space warfare has changed considerably since my time. Until I have reacclimated myself to this era, I can think of no better warrior to command this vessel than Lady Jaula of House Mokai. May you lead this vessel and her crew to glory. You honor me, Lorel. Computer, note the transfer of command in the record of battle. For many, the Lucara was a symbol of division. May the Katinga serve as a symbol of unity, as my brother's vessel once did. Let the honored few who came to Boreth's aid go now to every corner of the Empire. Tell everyone you meet what happened here today. Tell them that you were at Boreth when Lorel returned. Tell them how we all fought and sent the Fekiri back to Grethar. There is much to be done. We have an empire to restore and a tyrant to depose. But now is not the time for such things. Now is the time to honor our great victories. Tonight, we celebrate, for tomorrow we may die. Kapla! All right. Yep, yep, hour and a half about that episode. It, uh, one episode. Sheesh. Um, another thing I meant to mention, and I still haven't set up all the alerts for yet, though. Now that Lorel has Damn been it. restored, she will be able to counsel Lady Jaula on a great many things. Though I have great respect for Jaula, there are always lessons to be learned as a leader in the Klingon Empire. And, in such matters, there is no better teacher than Lorel. Yes, with Lorel at her side, I believe Lady Jaula can lead our house to victory over Jumpok and restore our shattered empire to glory. That battle lies ahead of us, however. When the time comes, be ready to answer the call to arms. Oh, that is plasma damage. I'll get that. And... Next. The time has come. Join us in the Boreth system. We are preparing to make our next move against the forces of the so-called Emperor and his dishonorable lackeys. Soon we will rally those who would end this destructive conflict and restore the Empire. The journey lies ahead. All that remains is to take the first step. All Go. Right. Do what must be done. Ah, uh, yeah, I was gonna mention about Thankmas. Thankmas has started recently as well. And, um... That's what the new things on the bottom... Although, I still need to set alerts for it too, but... The new things on the bottom of the screen, there's a QR code, and there's the the goal.
And there might be some uh, also let uh, the founder of Thankmas talk about it again, but I'll do that another time, probably tomorrow. Uh, I also added the command exclamation thank miss well it's been a command but I actually just recently upgraded it interesting wait oh I'm already here ha <laughs> So yeah, Thank Miss is, is going on now. They've already started the fundraising for it. And the event, I don't know yet. But I'll look into it again. Because I'm going to be streaming when that event's going on. And I might just do like a bunch of other games. Or like party games, or a bunch of multiplayer. We'll see, Thank Miss is created by, you normally hosted by Jacksepticeye on YouTube. He, um, he uses it to raise money for a cause. And this year, it's the same as last year's. He's we're raising money for the world. Kitchen. I can't remember what it's called exactly. Jeez, that. Uh. Yeah, you might want to look into see if there's an update for the app. Uh, at some point, to see if that might be what's causing all your uh, issues with Twitch right now. Might need to update it. That's interesting. Why is that showing like that? Huh. No update needed. But it's still buggy. to Twitch, see if there's something about that. Yeah, Thank Miss is basically a fundraiser, and a bunch of other content creators can join in and help raise money for this fund as well, using the website Tiltify to, uh, to raise the money. That's it, World Central Kitchen, that's right. And, uh, no, put the hand down. There we go. <laughs> Stupid V-Roid. Uh, participate. What's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> I mean, I want to say what else he said, but I can't remember. It might be easier to play the video tomorrow before I start uh, Skyrim <laughs> and uh, have him explain more. Yeah. World Central Kitchen. I know that they're a charity for um, helping feed people or feed families and kids, something like that. Like, I can never remember exact details all the time for everything, but it's... Yeah, th okay. That makes sense. It, it, yeah, they give meals in areas of crisis. All over the world, yeah. I mean, that's why it's called World Central Kitchen. Um, it was reminded of something else. Eh. It probably wasn't important. Ugh. I 
But yeah, my my command uh, exclamation thank miss. I I have it. I'll use it for every thank miss every year. Um, so it'll just be disabled throughout whenever thank miss isn't actually running. But uh, when it is, the the <laughs> I'll just enable the command and change the uh, the uh, yeah the 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 the, the link accordingly. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I just change the link accordingly, depending on the the what's being run. Yeah, this year I called it SBK Thankless. Hey, wait a second. That's not right. I swore I changed the link. What is going on with Stream Elements? Hold on, that's the old one. That's last year's. Let me check something. I swear, I changed that. 